a uh, very religious guy. He would he would kind of fit the I, I guess the tone of uh, you know the, the Mormon takeover of the Republican Party, which apparently is happening right now. <laughs> is that happening? Yeah, that's apparently happening. I didn't yeah. I didn't know that. Is and that because so, <laughs> Harry Reid is a Mormon and he's a Democrat? Yeah, but he's a Democrat, so Democrats wouldn't take over. Just the Mormon Republicans would. Oh, so the Mormon Democrats are fine. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. They're but, they're not doing anything weird. But the Mormon, but the Republicans, Mormon Republicans are doing creepy, weird things. Really? Yeah, we don't know what they are. Oh man, we, do, we <laughs> that's don't, disturbing. But we got to find out. We got to find out. I and, hope I hope every network can run a special or so. I, they I, I they are. So. They are. That's the good thing. Oh, good. They uh, are. Uh, <laughs> NBC just ran one late last week. We haven't had a chance to talk about this yet. But Brian Williams had Abby Huntsman on, and. Uh, Abby Huntsman is the daughter of John Huntsman Jr. And so they're doing this big special. What was it called? Mormon in America? Was that what it was? And it was an hour long special. And uh, here was a little snippet of it. Why do you think those of us non Mormons don't know more about the Mormon church? I don't think they've done a good enough job opening it, up. They've been very secretive, and it causes people to. Mm. Think of it as a mystery. Really? Abby Huntsman grew up in a family considered Mormon royalty. Really? She's a descendant of one of the 12 original Mormon apostles. Thank you all so very much. Her father, John Huntsman, former mm. Utah governor, former U.S. ambassador to China, ran unsuccessfully for the GOP nomination. Okay, look, I, I'm not a spokesman for the church. Obviously, I'm, I'm Mormon. But I'm, I'm not the church spokesman, and I think they're very happy about that. <laughs> yes, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> but I have never heard the Huntsman family or anyone ever referred to as Mormon royalty. No? They're not considered Mormon royalty. No one's considered, to my knowledge, royalty of the church. Well, does I, that just mean, is he using I've never heard the term. slang essentially for very prominent I family? I guess, but say well, they, are pro- they are a prominent they family. They are prominent, of course. I mean, they're, you know, John Sr. Is a, is a billionaire, extremely prominent, extremely well-respected. Yeah, great guy. Uh, John Jr. was the John governor Jr. of uh, Utah. Obviously governor ran, of Utah. Yeah, everybody knows president. him. president. Mm-hmm. Um, but different than his dad, yeah, but in, in many ways, sure. Uh, and his family is, you know, his daughter isn't even active in the church, and they they talk about that in the special, right? And so here's a little bit more about uh, what she had to say. It's very black and white. Still, there's mm-hmm. no gray area. You either live by the Mormon doctrine or you do not. Okay, so get that again. It's it's here's one of the problems with the, with the church. It's very black and white still. Mm-hmm. There's no gray area. No gray. You either live by the Mormon doctrine or you do not. And that's really weird because God is such a gray area person. He's oh, like, yeah. mm-hmm. I don't really want to make a comment on whether adultery is right or wrong. Right. Well, that comes from the Ten Commandments where he says, mm-hmm. thou shalt not or thou shall commit adultery. Yeah. That's I mean, how he was worded, originally worded. He's like, if you're really in the mood and so is she. Go ahead. Right. I mean, you know. If if you're both drunk, I mean, there's some gray area there. <laughs> Circumstances <laughs> I mean, at times would what? dictate. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know Abby Huntsman. <laughs> I, I don't know John Jr. I know John Sr. Fantastic man. I respect him more than just about anybody else on the planet. But what a stupid thing to say. Well, it's not a commentary on necessarily her. Or, it's not. It's, it's just it's, or who, Mormonism. It's. I think that's a general faith commentary because I think every faith goes through that where there's this idea that you need to be more lenient with your rules to open up the tent. And you can make that argument, even though I disagree with it when it comes to politics. You could mm-hmm. say, well, we should not support this policy so we can get more people to do it. I believe in principles, and I don't, I don't think that's the way to do it. But a lot of people do make that argument. With faith, it makes no sense to me. None. That, that's not – I mean, these are supposed to be rules passed down from the beginning of time. And they if don't you, change. If you go to that point of bothering to believe in a faith – well, then that's what you believe. Why would you think that they would change right. with the times? Is yes, they'll get email addresses. Yes, they can have a website where they put their sermons on the website. That's sort of changing for the times is one thing. But to change your principles, to change your tenets without any other reason other than public pressure is not what a church is supposed to do. Cultural things change. Doctrinal things don't. Right? right? I mean, I you know, that's the, fair. the Ten Commandments don't change. 
They're the same today as they were when they were given to man. They, they don't change because it's now the year 2012, and we got to change with the times, and there's yeah. gray area now. Right. Since when? Yeah, the founders came up with the Constitution, and then they allowed for a process for it to be amended because they thought there would be some things they got wrong. That's not what God does. He's not typically like, no. ah, if I got this one wrong, you guys just changed that later on, okay? <laughs> you guys you got that? Like, that's not how he works. That's kind of why God is God. Okay. Yeah, because otherwise it, yeah. you're sort of not. You're, you know, the rest of us, <laughs> for instance, mm-hmm. aren't. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we do change. He he doesn't, but uh, there was more. What about the fact that you and I right now could walk across Fifth Avenue into St. Patrick's Cathedral? Mm-hmm. No one would care or wonder what our religious affiliation is. Yeah, yeah. I can't get into the Mormon temple. Oh, man, and he wants to so bad. Do you feel that? Are you feeling that? Doesn't seem com- it seems a little I disingenuous. I can't mm-hmm. get into the Mormon temple. Mm-hmm. He I seems really to, broken up I by it. I want to so badly. Gosh, if I, if I could just, it would really complete my life. If mm-hmm. I could just get in. <laughs> to the Mormon temple. It's Brian, something I've wanted my whole life. Brian seems I, very broken I, up about this. I think about it all the time. Mm-hmm. I dream about it. Mm-hmm. I wake up in cold sweats at 3 in the morning. <gasps> Am I in the Mormon? No, I'm not in the Mormon temple. <laughs> ah! Will that ever change? I hope it does. You hope it does. But okay. what goes on in there? I, I don't think that it will. Nothing crazy. It's very much a sacred <laughs> thing oh. for Mormons. And yes, thank you. Causes and- a lot of people to feel maybe not good enough. Oh, why Why am I not allowed in there? Yeah. So mm-hmm. this idea of maybe being more yeah. accepting Again, you, and uh, moving with the times a little bit with the is much needed. That's much thing. needed. You don't dictate your church's doctrine, whether you agree with it or not. You don't dictate it based on someone's feelings. Nope. It's not a feelings-based mm, thing. Nope. It's either right or it's wrong. Right. As she said, it's not a gray area. It's black or white. With religion, I mean, isn't that what makes a religion strong and something you want to be a part of? It's black and white. and there's, there's not gray area. It's either right or it's wrong, especially when you're dealing with matters of faith and God. I mean, that is unbelievable. And why have they gone to this woman? You know, obviously, she's got she's very pretty. She uh, has been Mormon in the past. I, I think she still is, but she's not active. I don't think so. I think they said she left the church uh, in this in this segment. Um, I could be wrong on that, but I believe that's what they she said. She may have. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, met, several members of this family have. But, but, you know, why do you go to a Mormon who's never been to the temple in this way and ask him about the temple? What are you, what are you doing? She's not, she wasn't true? married in the temple. She hasn't been there in the way he's talking about. Well, she hasn't been there. Why Why do you go to somebody who doesn't even know about it and start asking them questions about it? I mean, well, yeah. Well, no, I don't know what her past is. I mean, she was a member of the church for uh, for she some was. period of time. She's, but she she didn't. She's not. And, I, and this is the thing. I mean, I suppose it's the larger question is it's not necessarily bad to, for these questions to be answered. I think, you know, as Glenn has said a million times, Pat, I mean, Pat was a, was Mormon long before Glenn was. And Glenn used to say all the same stuff that. Uh, you know, make fun of Pat about it mm-hmm. uh, in the same way because again, mm-hmm. he didn't he doesn't know anything yeah, about no. it. I mean, that, that's not my my job, and I'm not Mormon, but my job is not to know all the stuff about the Mormon Church. That's not my gig. Right? That you're a Mormon, I'm not. And, and do you really care? No. Does it I, keep no, you up at night? Does think, not. I can't go to the temple. I, I care about I people. <laughs> I care about like, for example, you know, like I know that you know, and again, I work with essentially every Mormon on the planet in this company. They almost all work yeah. here. Yeah, every one of them. <laughs> all, From Mormon all of them. Royalty. All 14 uh, million people work here. But again, and Mercury. It, all yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. But again, like if anything, over time you see as someone who's not Mormon looking at Mormons for a long period of time, you realize that they're competent, mm-hmm. that they're honest, that they're trustworthy. I mean, again, these are all generalities. There's certainly exceptions to the rule, but if anything, it should be a positive. I would think when you're looking at this uh, from a presidential perspective, here's a guy who's most likely not going to be sleeping around, most likely not going to be drunk when he needs to figure out whether he needs to press the button or not. <laughs> most you know likely. I mean? like, most likely those yeah. things aren't going to happen with a Mitt Romney. It's a yes. positive to me. I want a guy who's boring. I want a guy, unlike uh, several other presidents we've had in the past, who, you know, Nixon pops, pops into mind, among others, or JFK when he's hitting with Marilyn Monroe in some back room somewhere. I'd like a guy to be a little bit more focused on his job. 
And if anything, I mean, yeah. I think the the profile, the typical profile of the average Mormon uh, lends itself to think that you'd be good at that sort of job, which is why Mitt Romney, I think, has been successful in business, why he's been good at managing people and managing large, controversial, difficult decisions over his life. Yeah. I mean, it's one of, I, I, it, the, to act as if it's this scary thing to me is this bizarre approach that only the media could come up with. And and yet they're so good at it, and it's about to be amplified. Oh yeah, <laughs> to uh, I think about the one hundredth power. Mm-hmm. Uh, wait till next month and the month after. October is is going to be Bash Bash Mormon month. Oh yeah, get ready, uh, get ready. I, I have on. my Bash Mormon tree. I've put uh, that up. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, yeah, good. So you're getting prepared. We're getting celebrated. Nice. The lights are going up outside <laughs> on the trees, and it's going to be a wonderful celebration. 